what's up guys so in this lecture we're going to continue with color displays and in this uh, lecture we're going to take a look at some of the different aspects like resolution what is resolution the output resolution the screen resolution and also the image resolution or uh, you know maybe you can call display resolution as screen resolution so the first thing to know is the uh, most simplest term that we discuss in graphics is known as uh, normally before we go into them how to describe about the operating system depending on what programming language you're using the operating system classified the bits of uh, the pixel on the screen in form of a grid like structure normally known as uh, the normally known as a as a checkerboard right so your operating system was a Linux and MS or Windows they uses a checkerboard like grid so these grids are used as x y coordinate for example here uh, if you have used uh, java so java starts y on this side x on this side and then the y decreases so at the at on this side over here you have zero zero now coming to the vram is a video random access memory so for what colors we need to display on the screen there must be a specific amount of memory reserved to uh, to store that so the video random access memory is just a small amount of memory used to control what color to display on the screen, right? So this is a VRAM normally being displayed to you. Now pixel, what is pixel? Is the smallest unit that you can have on an image or the smallest amount of information. Now in a screen like LCD, we have normally sub-pixels. Well, one pixel is being divided as a uh, three different pixels that are red, uh, blue and green red, green, that is red, green and blue that is RGB colors and here if you want to display certain amount of a specific color here you will be able to come across it right you will be able to see a combination of colors for example uh, uh, like we have seen that magenta can be produced using 101 so here you see that red and green and blue is used by LCD devices so we're going to study liquid crystal display that is LCD how the function later on that is the next section will be based on that now this first pixel known also as BPP is actually the amount of resolution that can be described by pixel right so when you talk about image resolution, it's just the amount of pixels. So these are, if you're using a one-bit system, therefore you're going to have two colors, two, 2 power 1, 2, 2 power 2, 4, 2 power 4, 8, 2 power 8, 16, and so on. So this is how we obtain the calculation for it. Now coming to resolution, so what is uh, image resolution? Is an amount of pixels that can be found on the screen, right? And if you're using... Um, a CRT device, so resolution is defined as the maximum number of points that that normally appears on the screen without overlap, right? So this is resolution. So either you say how many detail a picture has. When it comes to image resolution, it is the amount of pixels that it, have, uh, it has. And uh, display resolution is the amount of DPI, dots per inch. And output resolution, which is normally for a paper, is again dots per inch that appears. So display resolution is normally used on the monitor. Output resolution is known for uh, output device. Right, so if you talk about a one bit per color, so that's going to produce two colors, eight bit. Normally eight bits, you will have to make use of a color lookup table. Right, I'm going to show you the CLUT or a palette because it's going to produce 256 colors so palette is a table of 256 colors used for index images each pixel in the image must be one of the colors in the palette so there are several types of uh, pa palettes including adaptive, system, exact and web so you don't have to worry now there is a great difference between 16 bit and then uh, 18 bit so one way to remember it, 16 bit you remember H and then followed by T. So 16 bit is high color, 24 bit is true color. Now when you will use a 24 bit color, you have 8 bits that is reserved for red, 8 bits for green, 8 bits for blue, obviously, right? So the next lecture will be based on the cathode ray tube, 
raster versus random scan system, LCD devices, plasma panel, and flat displays. We are going to discuss, uh, discuss that. And also we have graphic cards. We are going to discuss about the graphical processing unit, the BIOS, where can be connected using the API. Uh, API slot and then the GPA etc which you are going to understand later on right so most of the references comes from Cambridge and color.com tutorial slash bit dot display dot html you can go over there or you can reference in backup almost same thing 